considered myself tall until I stood next to these two. So that was a perk, number one. Uh, but you know, the, the insanity of all of this is that Neil Patrick Harris and David Berger put together all of us who were friends. Actually, I didn't know Hanifa before this, so we instantly became friends. Mm -hmm. But what's fascinating is they put a group of people together. We all know each other. We all hang out in real life. And it's like, here, pick yourselves up, show up at the studio, be yourself, let's film it, and it's a TV show. This is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I have been on intervention. So this is really a lovely, lovely, lovely opportunity. So it was a blast to go to work every day. You know what I mean? You put that many drag queens in one room, it's a good time. It's a good time. The most fun for all of us, or for me at least, was that we were allowed by the producers, Neil and David, and, and by the network to really just be ourselves. We didn't have to stick to a script or messaging or all that stuff. So, you know, all of us brought our talent that we have from slugging in the clubs forever, right? Into like kind of a mainstream setting. And they didn't say, oh, tone it down, or you can't do this, you can't do that. So the best part for me was, you know, just being able to improv with a lot of my heroes and, and to get to work with everybody. And thank God a lot of us, you know, finally got a job. Well, I think it's because of everything that's happening within the world right now, right? So it's perfect to see this show highlighting drag queens and highlighting inclusion and highlighting having a good time and highlighting fashion, highlighting fun. Like it's just perfect for right now. And you don't have to think a lot when you're watching this show, you just need to laugh. You just need to have a good time, relax and laugh. There's no real heavy politics going on in our show, it's just, real genius creativity. So I think it's perfect for right now. Like, let's stop taking ourselves so seriously and let's have a giggle with each other. You know, I don't know if you know, but I'm a delicate wallflower who <laughs> is very afraid of expressing my opinions. So this truly was a challenge, you know, to act to perform, I'm kidding, you know I'm a horrible actor, you've seen my movies. No, the thing is, I, I enjoy- No, he has it. <laughs> no, he has. Two people did, two people. Uh, but, and it's not even my parents, because I don't know who they are. But what's great though, is having the opportunity to basically just go to a party. Hanifa and I, as I said, we became instant friends, and we got to go and sit in a party and just be entertained, fed sometimes good food, and enjoy the ambiance. And as you do at most dinner parties, give your opinion. Usually it's on the ride home, where you're like, girl, girl. <laughs> But in this situation, we had the opportunity to critique them in time, which I thought was a lot of fun. And surprisingly, a lot of the drag queens were good at it. Now, we did not see them prepare the food, but mm -hmm. in the end, the taste was not too bad. I'm more of a vibe girl. I wanted a good vibe going on. And Hanifa was all concerned about the food. So we worked well together. We really did. Because I'm greedy. <laughs> I think people will be surprised that drag queens uh, can do more than lip sync. I hope that's not a shade, but no. you know, I because we don't get to see drag queens talking to each other, making jokes, reading each other to filth, and we certainly don't see drag queens in the kitchen. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean? I've never seen a drag queen in the kitchen in my life until the show. So we're we're gonna see um, almost like a behind the scenes, you know, snapshot of, of drag queens' lives. most exciting part for me was when my check cleared and <laughs> you got a check you got a check mine didn't even clear yet no but honestly my most exciting i'm such a huge uh drag fan so walking into set every day not knowing who the four drag queens were going to be it was like i i'm such a fan of it and i'm such a fan of most of these women i don't know i felt really blessed to be a part of something where i've been watching these people for so many years and then now i actually know them some of them are in my phone like i have a really good relationship with bianca i absolutely adore her um and i never thought that that would be the case right i'm kind of like that i don't want to call myself a I'm, I'm a straight actor, right? Like I do the regular, I'm, I do scriptage. Uh, shows. Not fully straight, but yeah. <laughs> I, do, I, I do scripted shows. So to be able to be on something like this and kind of like broad <laughs> my horizons and be with all of these queens, it, it was a delight for me. It really was awesome.